Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. What a wonderful So today's video is going to be another weekly vlog. I actually have a little bit of a haul for you. It's only Tuesday, but I did some haulage over the weekend. Um, namely, I went to Bath & Body Works for the Halloween launch on Monday. So I have a little haul for that. And then I also have a few uh, jewelry pieces that I picked up from Roxbox. They were having their like semi-annual sale. So it was all like 50% off of pieces that you can purchase, which if you don't know, Roxbox is the jewelry subscription box. And every now and then they will let you purchase some of the used jewelry for a super discount price. And then I also have a little Abercrombie haul to show you guys, which I'm really excited about because I got some great stuff also from their clearance event. So let's start with Bath & Body Works. Here is the little mini haul. So I didn't get a ton, but I did have a free item coupon from my rewards in the app. So I got a Vampire Blood shower gel. Really excited to have this one and try it. Finally in body care, I'm so happy. And then I got Everlasting Magic in the body cream. I had a um, $7 body cream coupon, which it's originally $16.95, so about $10 off. So I got this one for seven. It's Everlasting Magic. The notes are Bejeweled Berries, Phantom Petals, and Magic Musk. Now, this one to me kind of smells like Pink Velvet Cupcake. So I'm gonna have to go research the notes on Pink Velvet Cupcake because it hasn't come out in a few years, but it's one of my favorites. If this is a repackage of Pink Velvet Cupcake, I'm gonna be so, so happy. And then I got these five pocket bags for $8. I got Champagne Apple and Honey, Pumpkin Pecan Waffles, Lakeside Life, Vampire Blood, and Moonlit Graveyard. And then over here by the rest of my jewelry, this is like my little setup. If you guys weren't aware, I have jewelry all right here, makeup brushes, and then this is a little jewelry organizer with my fragrances. But yeah, this is the little haul that I got from Roxbox. These were each, I believe, around 15 bucks. And I do have like some forever credits that you accrue however many years you've been with them. I think I've had the subscription box for like eight years. <laughs> but both of these were 15 bucks. This is the Slate jewelry i'm not sure what each piece is called so i'll put it down below but this one is so pretty if you can see what it looks like it looks really cool it's like a uh two-dimensional hoop so it looks like a hoop from the front but from the side it is not so it's really nice and convenient and super lightweight and then these i thought these were actually like super little tiny huggies but they're much bigger than i expected so great bang for your buck and these are so cool so really excited to have picked up these two gold jewelry pieces which if you can see right here all of my gold uh hoops i probably can declutter some especially these they're like tarnished and stuff and then from abercrombie i just picked up these three pieces don't mind that cardigan that's just what i was wearing earlier today but I picked up this awesome little cropped hoodie in gray, and this is a size medium, but it definitely is oversized. And it says it's the soft, oh, you can't see that. The Soft Max Essentials Collection. This is so cozy. I'll try it on for you guys. It's the exact kind of style I was looking for. I'm so happy. I don't actually own a hoodie right now, so this is super helpful, and I thought it would be awesome, especially when it starts to get chilly again, and I'll probably just be wearing this every day. And then I picked up two maxi skirts. So this one I think is a midi, this one is a maxi. This one fits me perfectly, this one does not. So this one is a little, it has a little slit right here on both sides. Let's see if the tag says what it is. Okay, it does not. So I will try to put on the screen what this exactly is, but it's a great fabric. It's like kind of heavy and I think it's double lined. It feels awesome. So I'll try this on for you guys. This one is so, so flattering. And then this one, however, is too big for me. Um, I'll show you guys this one on. If I wore it like low waisted, then it would be fine. But I definitely was planning on having this be a high waisted skirt. So yeah, I picked this up in a medium too, but this is a medium petite. I think just this medium is much bigger than this one is, which is so weird since they're both, like, they should be the same fit, but whatever. I'll have to return this one. Um, but yeah, I definitely, I think I got these around like $35 each, which this tag said it was 70. And um, I don't know how much I got the hoodie for, but I'll put it on the screen too. This is so soft. So I will back up a little bit, but you can see it's cropped enough to where it really just like hits my belly button. And it doesn't go any further than that, but I love the sleeves are just like billowy and stuff and the little hood. I feel like this is going to be a staple. Like I'm going to be wearing this all the time. 
It feels so cozy. This is the softest fabric ever. So I'm loving this hoodie. I think this was around $30 too and probably a lot more regularly priced. Looks like it's around 70 regularly priced. So like half off. So I'm very happy about this one. Here is the midi skirt on. Obviously I would not wear it with the top that I'm wearing right now, but I just tucked it in so you could see, but this one fits me super well. It's not tight at all. And then I love these little side slits that you get. So you get some movement when you walk around and it's not just like one big column, which I think is perfect because I am petite and I don't know, sometimes like longer skirts make me just look shorter, but with like a little heel, these would be so cute or heeled booties in the fall. Ah, so cute. So that is this skirt. So here's the other skirt. I did get the petite. So as you can tell, it kind of cuts off right at my ankles. I'm liking the other one in, in terms of like length much better. It's more like mid calf on the other one. And this is definitely too big. So I probably would have to take in like two inches on the side to make it actually fit. Um, if I wore it low-waisted, it fits, but I am never gonna wear a low-waisted skirt. Even though it's kind of like Y2K, I just can't bring myself to do it. But this fabric is a lot more lightweight, which is probably better for summertime and stuff. But I think I'm just gonna go ahead and return it because I'm not seeing myself <laughs> liking this one. It's also just not the right size. So that's it for the hauls for now. Um, I'm gonna go back to work, but I definitely am gonna do some fun stuff this weekend because my birthday is next week on Tuesday. So I will be off for work, I think, but I think I'm just gonna do like kind of working, kind of not, like maybe I'll sleep in or something. Um, but yeah, it's on a weekday, which kind of sucks. So probably gonna celebrate on Saturday of this week, um, I already bought us tickets to the Barbie movie at 7 p.m. on Saturday, so I'm very excited to see that. And I think what we're gonna do is go to the Galleria and shop a little bit before the movie. That's really my plan, so I'm excited. Um, I might be making my first designer bag purchase. If you've seen me carrying a designer bag before, mm, it is not real, <laughs> and I'll leave it at that but um, I might make my first designer bag purchase. I've been looking at a few coach bags, but I might just bite the bullet and finally buy myself a Louis Vuitton bag. We will see. I'm not sold yet. So we're gonna go to the Galleria, see what I can find. I definitely need to go to Sephora, probably return that skirt at Abercrombie and maybe get something else. And I need to make an exchange at Lululemon too. So probably a lot of, uh, birthday shenanigans this weekend and yeah so not no like big plans besides saturday so i probably won't see you guys a lot this week but um i will see you guys when i see you guys changed because Ryan and I are about to go on a run but I honestly just wanted to come on and show you guys the curls and how they turned out. I refreshed them this morning and I think they're super cute and I was wearing my hair like this with these little two guys hanging out in the front earlier and I just felt adorable. So anyways um, before I put my hair up I wanted to show you the curly tude because it was curlifying today. 
Um, but when, as soon as I put it up in a ponytail, I have to brush it, so that sucks. But tomorrow we are going to go shopping. So we're gonna get up, work out, and do our regular stuff that we do in the morning. And then Ryan's brother is gonna watch Kai for us, and we're gonna be on like the whole day, make a whole shopping spree out of it. I made like a list on my phone what I want, and I'm excited. Um, and then we are seeing Barbie movie at night. So gonna be a nice, fun shopping spree day tomorrow. And yeah, so I will catch you guys up later. currently Saturday night. We just got home from watching Barbie movie and yes, I definitely cried. Um, <laughs> it was so good and I do have a little haul for you guys. Um, but wow, Barbie movie was so good. No spoilers, but the comment at the very end about mother standing still so their daughters can look back. I was sobbing. So <laughs> that was so sweet. Um, but yeah, it was really good. It was fun. It was funny. It was goofy. It paid homage to a lot of the Barbies from my childhood and I had a great time watching it. So I hope you guys enjoyed it too. If you've seen it, let me know down below what you think, but oh, it was so cute. Okay. Now I'm going to get changed because I'm wearing a dress and my thighs definitely chafed today. Um, so I'm going to change and then we'll do a little haul. Okay, guys, I just laid out the haul on the bed <laughs> and I have to say first number one I don't have to justify myself to anyone I'm a grown woman okay um but here I am justifying myself to you this is my birthday gift to myself okay I save my big girl money and I spend it however I want I've been wanting a designer bag this one in specific for I've wanted a designer bag for years probably since I started making an actual having an actual paycheck in a job and number two I bought some shoes and I've been dying to buy some of those specific boots since last fall I've been thinking about the boots that I want to buy for this fall so I just went ahead and bit the bu bullet the shoes were really like the pre the birthday gift to myself and I finally just caved and got the bag that I've been saving for so okay let's get into the haul because that's the best part so I'm gonna start with shoes and then you and I, together, me and you, we're gonna unbox that purse, so. Now, tell me this is not a beautiful haul. Okay, so, went to Nordstrom first. Now, yes, they were having their anniversary sale, but I didn't even know that, so I didn't really shop anything sale, but I was looking for boots, and these are the first ones that I found from Jeffrey Campbell. Oh my God. Look at how pretty this little like square front toe is. And let me turn it around, see if it has a style so you guys can see. I don't even know how to say that, Geist. I don't know, in brown, okay? Beautiful. I usually wear a seven and a half, I got an eight, but these are so cute on. And I can just imagine them with like a pair of jeans in the fall. And they are this like, it might not be showing up on the camera, but they're like this red brown. It's really gorgeous. So this was the first purchase. And then I saw they carried Converse, which I've been needing to buy a black pair um, just to wear as a casual shoe in general. So I bought these and like they're the non-platform ones, which the, those are the ones that I've been wanting. But let me know if you think I should get an insole for these because I feel like I remember having them in high school and middle school and they weren't very supportive. So let me know if I should get an insole for those. And then the Tory Birch ones were a total 
impulse buy. Um, <laughs> I got dressed today and realized that I didn't have any black sandals. So I was like, oh, let me look at black sandals while I'm here. And they're super cute. And they're actually like pretty comfortable. They have a little cushion in them. And then here's the style if you're curious. So that's the three shoes I got. Now I'm gonna set up the tripod and show you the rest. All right, here we are. Oh my gosh. And this is Ryan's wallet that he bought. So I'll show you guys this after. But first, we must talk about the purse. Look at her. This is called the loop. It is so cute. Oh, here, I will peel this off for you guys. So it is a shoulder bag, which is exactly what I wanted. It does come with a uh, strap to make it a crossbody bag, but I prefer it as a shoulder bag. <laughs> I probably should have tried it on for you guys still in my cute dress, but here it is on. I think it's just the cutest little thing and it's small which is exactly what I wanted and it's a little shoulder bag which is also what I wanted but I love the pattern just you know like the the standout Louis Vuitton when you think of it it's this pattern so that's what she is so yep I'm over the moon <laughs> excited about my first designer bag purchase I have bought secondhand before but never in the stores a brand new bag so yes that is her. And then I will just show you Ryan's wallet as well. Just don't wanna ruin the bow, so I'm gonna leave it tied. So this is the wallet that Ryan wanted to get. He wanted a slim one, which I think it's pretty slim, and it's embossed, and I think it's super gorgeous. Okay, so that is the haul. I feel really grateful that I can do a shopping trip like this for myself. Um, this is actually the first ever designer purchase ever for me. So this is new for me and I don't know how to go about it, but I hope you guys enjoyed that haul because you know that I did. Um, and tomorrow we actually have a Pilates class that both Ryan, myself, and his sister are gonna go to which Ryan's never been to Pilates, so that should be really fun. It's like, it was a free class because they're training new instructors, so I'm excited to see how he does during that class. So we're gonna go to class tomorrow, maybe do brunch, and then we're actually watching a friend's dog, so we're gonna have another dog in the vlog for next week, but yeah. Um, I'm gonna go get ready for bed, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Hello you guys, it is a Sunday afternoon, it's about 6 o'clock, I'm popping some popcorn um, because I've been having a little bit of a gaming session <laughs> playing Disney Dreamlight Valley, <laughs> don't get it twisted, I'm not a gamer, but anyways, um, Sunday was really really nice, so Ryan and I and his sister went to our Pilates class this morning, that was Ryan's first Pilates class and I thought it was so fun to bring him along because I go like three times a week and I have so much fun. And my instructor that I love was there. She was like helping out the new coach. So it was a lot of fun. And yeah, so we did the Pilates class. Then we went to brunch, which you guys saw. And came back home and we've just been cleaning up and stuff. I got rid of some clothes. Uh, or I went through my closet to pick out some clothes to bring to Goodwill. So both me and Ryan have a full trash bag to bring to Goodwill. There's my popcorn. It's done. Um... And I did a little bit of a little decorating in this area of the house. I'll show it to you. But I got a little like shoe organizer because I was just putting my shoes there anyways. It was too much trouble to go all the way to my closet and then all the way out the door. Especially when I'm just like bringing Kai out to go potty or something simple like that. So I brought my, bought myself a little shoe caddy and I decorated this little space. Which I think is going to be so perfect to decorate for fall. I know I'm already thinking about it but... 
I'm gonna get like a little runner rug for that area for fall or for all the seasons really, but it's gonna be so cute. So let me show you the little decorated area and then that's really it for the vlog. I'm gonna go ahead and edit um, just cause we're not really doing much else tonight. Um, and these are my blue light glasses. I'm sorry, that was definitely blinding you for a while there. But yeah, let me show you the little area and then I'm gonna get on with my night. And you can see me in the mirror. So the only bad thing is that um, this little section does not have any light, but this is basically like this little alcove right before our bedroom. Here's part of the kitchen, living room, and then this is going to our bedroom. So here's the little thing. I just got this off of Amazon. It was like $100. And you just open it right here and it has your shoes in it. I definitely could have gotten like one from Ikea that was like basic black or basic white, but I liked that this one was like a style. Um, I've had this little pompous grass here anyways, but I just had my shoes on the floor right here and I think this looks so much better decorated and I think it's adorable. So yeah, I can just imagine getting like a little runner rug right here and it will be perfect for the fall. So that's my little home improvement update. I also, throughout the week, I put up these little signs on the coffee bar so now the coffee bar is completely done i definitely want to get like a little baby um pot for this fake plant but i think it's still cute right there and then i did also put up some pictures of ryan and i have to print out new ones though because they're the wrong orientation so <sighs> but i will close off the vlog oh close your legs boy you nasty i will close out the vlog here with Mr. Kai. He's so sleepy today. He's gonna get a bath later tonight. You want a bath? He's like, no, I don't. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this week's vlog. I hope you enjoyed. I'm trying to sprinkle in some little more like cozy. Can you hear him like snoring still even though he's not asleep? He's so sweet. Look at that face. He's so cute. <laughs> Anyways, I've been trying to sneak in some more like cozy aspects of the vlog. So I hope you liked, um, I think I sprinkled in one in here in the mornings, but yeah. Anyways, that is it for this week's vlog. I hope you enjoyed. If you did like, comment, and subscribe down below, and I will see you all in next, in the next video. <laughs> okay. Bye guys.